so friends today we are here and today we are going to talk about like social media like why you have to use less amount of social media because social media is right now is getting on its peak not from now it's from past five years social media is playing with youngsters mind and now you will ask me how it's playing with the youngsters mind so let me tell you that that one key element which is important to know that what are the actual thing is going on because if you see in the long term period the social media is analyzing your behavior it is analyzing what are the videos you watch what are the emotion you have what are the things you are holding what are the person you are talking with every single thing which you know is gonna get some of the another thing like it is exception not any like ai model it is trained it is getting trained and the more data you produce the more easier it gets to get your information and to it is just basically what is doing it is just predicting and that accurate prediction is going much more better and that's how it is just recommending you a videos that's how it is just recommending you the what you are going to think it's not your choice someone else is trying to make you think what you want to think just understand that understand what is actually going in life what is actually social media is all about it is all constantly updating and you are just thinking that uh, you are getting this information for free nothing is for free they want you to consume that information and that's where some they have their benefit and if you see your behavior if you see the way you consume you will see most of the youngster they are not aware of how much content they consume in a one particular day and the person or the children who were born in 1960 1996 are the first generation who are getting more closer like in the mid of high school they are getting aware of the social media they are the first generation and after that the constantly new age group of people from 14 to 16 they are much more on social media and they are much more are more curious about what the people think about them what are the actual thing because they have that assumption in mind but whatever i am going to do is going to get me some positive or negative result and they are having that one particular thing like they have seen like lots of influencer whatever they are doing they are getting some positive result and they are try to adapt that same behavior and if they don't get that same amount of action or reaction they will get started to getting depressed started to getting anxiety started to getting bored so that's why the new things comes into the picture and how you should handle it so i think most of the people most of the family how much time if you are spending your 2 hours or 3 hours it is just a minimum amount of time people are spending much more hours on instagram on facebook facebook is trying to make you connection the connection how it is triggering your mental state it will just tell it will give you one message and the message will look like your friend wanted the friend has tagged you in this one particular post and this concept of tagging is just getting pushed on the people more people are getting used through it and that's how they are keeping you on that social media platform the more time you are going to spend the more money they are going to make it's all about advertising it's all about cons- giving you something it's all about letting you to know what it actually is something real or unreal it is very much important that you are going to differentiate that and if you are not 
it is very easy to get this information right now because it's an age of information and internet is so fast you can get a plenty of information just within a minute within a second and that's how like you have to consume a pretty less amount of social media content and you don't know why you are doing it there's something the dopamine level it get once you started to scrolling and infinite scrolling and scrolling and scrolling your brain get that small amount of dopamine again and again and again and it is really get it really get hard to stop it me personally i am trying to less reflecting my behavior and that's how i have just came to know it is very much hard to cope up with that but once you get addicted to that one particular stuff it will take a few weeks to get back on your track right so that's how you can able to reduce that stuff so just keep moving and just keep learning new things my friend yeah that's all from my side thank you